first understand that you're being taught to practice and advance. And your primary mission is your advancement. Your secondary mission is to serve their mission. Then it's in a channel. Then it's in a line. Then it's in alignment. Then it's in manjari mood. Otherwise, it's independent, Saki, Guru, Krishna, Radha. Many gurus are there who are Krishna. They think I'm Krishna. They teach I am God, you are God. So they're just doing their mission, their own mission. But our mood is Radharani is guru. She teaches Krishna Seva Vasana. She brings Jiva into Krishna Seva. And all our Guru Bhagavat Parampara are mostly Manjris because they're just reflections of her mood. Therefore, they don't try to make their mission. Therefore, it's not many missions, it's one mission because they're all serving her mission to bring Jivas to Krishna Seva. So we don't have to go too late. So what I'm going to do is sometimes I'll give class. And sometimes, because I'm teaching you to be teachers, I'll ask you to discuss and revise. Right? What have you heard? What do you think? Malini presentation, if she comes, or busy, or Tirtha, if you're here, or Vrindavan, if you're here, some days not, that's okay. Right? Sometimes I'll do like that, because also, sometime I'm going to do book marathons. So even the morning class, sometimes I'll be like, okay, you guys discuss, have a point, read a book, I'll sit there. You know, like what we're going to do tomorrow, we're going to do Jaiva Dharma night. So we'll, you guys will all read in the book, then I'll sit there and I'll give some discussion points. So like we did before, only a little tweak. Right, you guys read, you make some points, you bring up your ideas, like a conference, like a panel. Right, so you sit there, you read together, and you give your ideas, but you also know that you're a student, because being a student in life is important. Right, take the advantage of the time you have to be a student, because you won't always have it in your life. Right, it's a very valuable time of life right, to be a student, to learn, to grow. And you should always have a student. I made this point. Bharat Maharaj, it's a very interesting point Prabhupada made. I, I told you, right? I told Malini. Bharat Maharaj fell down because of attachment to a deer, even when he was a very high stage, Rati Bhav. If he had a Shiksha Guru, Prabhupada said, he wouldn't have fallen down. So he was Rati Bhav Bhakta, but because he didn't have a Shiksha Guru, he became attached to a deer, and then his next life he became a deer. You know the story? Next life he became a deer. All he needed was a shiksha guru. All he needed to be was a student. All he needed was a bhajan shiksha. And then that bhajan shiksha guru would have said, why are you attached to this deer? You love Krishna, love God. Life is temporary. You're the soul. This deer is going to die anyway. Don't be attached. Give it some seva. Have no attachment. Let it go on its way. Okay, you want to take care of the deer? I'll take it to a family and give it to the family. <laughs> And they'll be fine, the deer will be fine, you'll be fine, but love God. So even if, oh, that Shiksha Guru might have been lesser than him. He didn't have to be a Rati Bhav Bhakti to tell him, don't be attached to the deer. So you always need a student in your life. You always need to be a student, you always need to have a teacher. Because we're in the line of Radharani. It's not our mission, it's her mission. So if we're in the mood of Manjari, then we always have a Guru or we try to become God. So it's their mission, not our mission. We're always serving their mission because that's Manjari Bhav. We have no possessiveness over anything. We always have our internal guru, or physical guru, or different levels. Okay, so that's the premise some days, because I'm gonna do book marathons, and also it's good. You all speak, take turns speaking, read Gurudev's Kata, discuss. Some days will be like that, right? And some days I have something important to say. And we don't have to go too late because we have all the time in the world. This is one of the things I say about pre teachers and preachers and speakers is that they often don't um, have enough real care for the audience. I don't want to be like that. Right? I don't want to be the person who doesn't care about the needs of the audience. I could speak here for three hours and then you'd be like, do I have to be there? If I go, does he get upset? What should I do? I don't want to do that. And it wouldn't be beneficial because how much are you going to absorb? So I don't have to say one thing teachers do, and this is good for you. Now we're teaching you how to be teachers. Always have the needs of the audience in your mind. So you're the audience, but really the world's the audience, but really you're the audience. Right? If you have eagerness to hear, then I can speak to you and then I can transmit that. But all I'm doing for the picture is just to have a frame of reference so that I know don't jump too far ahead of them use language that they can understand. That's how Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada would do it. He would speak the high topics and deep topics, but he would just use English language instead of saying 
you know, Krishna Bhakti Ras, you would say how to develop an understanding of devotional mellows, loving engagement to the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna, our eternal beloved. What you have to do is add a little language and translate it a little bit. That's how Bhakti, Bhakti Swami Prabhupada would do it. Gurudev primarily speak, spoke to devotees, so he's the Shiksha Guru of a whole devotee world, in a way. All right, so these books we're doing. Vrindavan is going to start a Bhaktivedanta Bible. This is one of his next sevas. Mm. That means from all of the books he's doing, he's collecting the essence, and then the essence of the essence, and then we'll make a series of books from that. So those who can't, who are too lazy to read 300 books, <laughs> right? So those who are too lazy to read 300 books can read 10 and then gain eagerness to read 300 and when they are then they read every day you read like every day we open Facebook and read nonsense so every day you read 3-4 pages of Gurudev what's harm? Alright, so I'm not giving class yet I'm just giving you an idea, framework I'm, I'm giving sanya uh, on my YouTube channel I'm putting hashtag like a sannyasi training Right, so I'm teaching the cheaters. So I don't want to keep you students. But you should always be a student. Like I'm always a student. Like I pray to always be a student. Because then I can achieve Manjuri Bhav. Because our specific line is that line. So it's good. It's good to be a student. We always want to be a student. Then we can be a teacher. That's all I'm trying to establish here. But being a student means actually having guidance. And then we can progress. All right, so that's the framework. Some days I'll just do computer marathon so I can catch up, because another thing to understand is that my whole day is usually communication and seva and work. And if I'm doing a lot of book work, it also takes my energy, and then I can't really give properly my energy or I'm tired. So sometimes, I'll, and then sometimes also it's good to learn a sloka, to understand a point, right? So every evening isn't just about you guys coming here and sitting. I want you to actually learn. I want you to actually grow. I actually want you to. So if you come here, you're actually making it. You're making progress. That's the point. Right? We actually want to make progress. That's our mission statement: to serve you on your spiritual journey. So your mission here is to help advance your spiritual life, and then to reflect her desire and their desire and serve their mission. Then it's anugatya. So this is a very compact understanding. Because a lot of the problems in the societies we, around us is that everyone wants to control. I know, because I was talking to Rakhanis Maharaj, and he's talking about, yeah, better there's this problem, and there's this problem. Everywhere there's problems. I have five people writing me from Iskand, this older guy. Oh, what's you on there? I want to come and help. I said, what do you want to do? He said, I don't know. I want to come and check it out and see what I can do, and I'm going to preach for you guys, and this and that. I said, first come and learn. Right? You want to come and control, first come and learn something. Or come and understand our point of view and chant some japa. He's like, oh, I want to preach this. Like, I'm just telling you an example because there's a lot of mayhem going on. Because everyone wants to teach and preach, but no one wants to be a student. That's the main problem. No one wants to be a student. Everyone wants to be a master. Our line is the line of eternal students. Eternal das. Right? How can we serve Radharani if we're trying to control her? Right? How can we serve Krishna if we're trying to... So it's, it's a soft mood. It's a very gentle, like, that's why it's a little feminine. Right? Manjri mood is very feminine because it's not this masculine approach. It's softness. I will serve you. I will try to think of you, love you, and re receive your mood. Then I can go forward. So this is their mission we're serving as their das and the das and the das. Das and the das and the das and the das is code for their servant, their maidservant. Vritya, vritya, parichakra, vritya, vritya. Shikshastakam, read Shikshastakam again with the mood of the kinkaris. Then when Shimati Radhika is saying, you understand you're reflecting her mood. Then when you're doing Katyani Vrat, you understand you're reflecting her mood. And you realize, I'm not the subject, I'm the object. Right? I'm doing Katyani Vrat, serving Radharani's mood. She loves Krishna. She wants to be with Krishna. How can I receive her mood and reflect that mood and serve that mood? It's, you're, now you're ashray tapa, you're a receptacle. You receive. And you transmit service. And then you're shakti, your expansion of shakti service. Otherwise, you're purush bhav. So that's, it's a subtle science that... I guarantee you, most people don't understand. 
if you were to interview most Hare Krishnas in the West and ask them, right, what is the mission? They wouldn't understand this connection because they don't know what is Manjari Bhav. That is Gurudev's unique principle he's teaching. It's a very soft mood. I don't have a mission to perform. I have no mission in life. My mission in life is to serve those who are performing their mission. That's all, my only mission, to love and to serve and to meditate and to connect and to present, not as a doer mentality. I am not a doer. They are the doer. Krishna says in the Gita, I am not the doer. Right? Hankara vimudatma, those who are proud think I am the doer. So we are not the doers here. They are the doer. Anything we are doing, if it's seva, it's in alignment with their heart's desire. And we're just meditating on that and receiving that mood and then we're serving them. And they are the doer. Their spirit, their energy, their force, our meditation, we're only thinking, how can I serve you? And then, there, if we have that prayerful mood, how can I serve you? And we have love for them and we think of them, we pray to them, then by their mercy, like a ray of their light. What does it mean, a ray of their light? A ray of their desire, like a beam of divine light can enter our heart. Whether we know it or not, then we will want to do something. Oh, this is their desire, my desire? No, and we do it. Now that's their desire. Now you're in a channel. But it depends on your focus, your awareness. Where is my heart and my mind? That's why Prabhupada talks so often about duty and love. Duty means I go to work, I do my job, I go home, and I do what I love. Right? Or I do what it gives me pleasure. I go to my home where I have loved ones, or I open my computer or phone, do whatever gives me pleasure, eat some food. But love means, see this is, bhakti is not duty, bhakti is love. So I go and I do arati, I do my puja. When I'm laying down at night, when I'm with, with other people, when I'm sitting down to eat, where is my mind and heart? With those I love. So bhakti is an offering of love. So if you, if you can transfer your awareness from yourself as the subject to yourself as the object, from taking darshan to receiving darshan, then you can think of those you love, and they can think of you with love, and then you create a transcendental loop, an energy. Right? This is called mantra. Right? So we are offering our hearts to Seva Kunj. How can we offer our hearts to them? Don't think they are a stone or metal. God is everywhere. God is especially where he is invoked by the love of his devotees. And if you invoke God with love, he appears. And then he is present before you. And then you're not thinking, I am the doer, and I am the surveyor, and I am the God. My consciousness is absorbed in them. That is Krishna consciousness. Why is it called Krishna consciousness? It's Manjari mood. Shri Radha is Krishna conscious. So it's the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Because Srimati Radhika is always absorbed in Krishna consciousness. Right? You wrote it down? You understand what I'm saying? You wrote it down? Are you taking a note? Okay, what is Krishna Consciousness? What is the Society of Krishna Consciousness? Why is it not Radha Consciousness? I am explaining everything to you from the frame of reference of our Gurudev and his mood, right? Krishna Consciousness is not a projection of our consciousness. We are not trying to become Krishna Conscious. Shrimati Radhika is Krishna Conscious. She is always absorbed in Sri Krishna. Are we trying to become Krishna conscious? 
we're trying to become the reflections of her desire, of her love, of her mood, down in that chain, of that line, of that current of love, then we can understand what is Krishna Seva Vasana. What does it mean, Krishna Arunita Das? Right. I want to serve, like I said about Japa. Remember Japa? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Where is our heart? We love Krishna. Why? We love Krishna because if we're in her line and her mood, then her desire manifests in our heart, then we love Krishna. Completely, madly, as she does. Because that's her mood. And we are not the doers and the subjects and the Krishna conscious. I am Krishna consciousness. Right? This is male enjoyer mood. I am Krishna consciousness. Most people in the world are following I am Krishna consciousness. Because they think I am conscious. This is a God energy. Consciousness. Chit. Right? Not an ananda mood. Soul is Satchidananda, Sandini Shakti, Sambit Shakti, Hladini Shakti, Satchid Ananda. So Chit is Krishna, Ananda Shimati Radhika. We are Vibhinangsa Tattva, which means part and parcel of the divine couple. Really, that consciousness feature is coming from Krishna, Ananda feature is coming from Shimati Radhika, right? And Lord Balaram is the foundation, existence. Lord Nityananda, Lord Balaram. So she is Krishna conscious. We can make claim to be Krishna conscious. Do we want to be Krishna conscious? We want to be conscious of her desire and reflect her mood and then serve that line. Like Gurudev would say, maid servants of Shimati Radhika get double benefit. Followers of just Krishna only get Krishna. Followers of Shimati Radhika, they get not just Krishna, because if you just get Krishna, you only get Krishna according to your limited capacity as a jiva. Jiva is finite, very small. Very small jiva. But if you connect to Shimati Radhika and then connect to Krishna through her mood, she is Parashakti, Swarup Shakti, the supreme, eternal, from whom all facility to approach Krishna is manifested. You can't approach Krishna without Sri Radha, just like you cannot see the sun without rays of the sun. That's Siddhanta. Atapa Rohita Suraina Higani Radha Anadara So Abhimani. Proud people think I will approach God without Shrimati Radhika. Krishna without Radha is like the sun without rays of the sun. I see the sun. Look, the sun's right there. You see the sun because of the light of the sun. That is Rup Shakti, Shrimati Radhika. So you want to approach Krishna as a jiva, without acknowledging Shrimati Radhika and her mood and her love and her Krishna consciousness, right? it's her society. Shriswami Prabhupada is expansion of her mood. Madhurya Ras, Tattabhavi Chamai, he is receiving her mood. He's saying, make me dance, I'm a puppet. Why is he saying that in his address in Jaladuta? Make me dance, make me dance, I'm a puppet. Why? Who is the puppeteer? Shrimati Radhika. It's her international society for Krishna consciousness, eternal society for Krishna consciousness. So therefore we understand why the acharyas are presenting Krishna, not Radha. Otherwise the acharyas could say this is the international society for Radha consciousness. No. International Society for Krishna Consciousness is a reflection of her mood. She wants everyone to love Krishna because she loves Krishna. And the expansion of her shakti, her energy, as all the jivas, as all the, every, all the living eternal spiritual beings, all the brijbhasis, all the rasas also. That's why it's important to understand that to enter any rasa of love with Krishna, sakya, vatsalya, dhasya, Madhurya Saki mood, Madhurya Dasi mood, without Srimati Radhika it's not possible. Why? There's not many gods. There's Krishna and there's Sri Radha 
from Krishna, all the Vishnu incarnations manifest, and then his vibhutis, his opulences, secondary, the demigods manifest. But from Shrimati Radhika, all Shakti manifests. Uma, Rama, Satya, Satchi, Chandra, Rukmini, Radha, Avatar, Shab, Amnaya, Vani. All the incarnations, everyone manifests. Right? So there's not many gods. Durga Mata, expansion of expansion of expansion of Shrimati Radhika. Right? So there's the Shakti hierarchy line and the Vishnu, Krishna, Purush line. But any Ras you want to approach Krishna in, she is the one who can grant from the, her love, her desire. Otherwise, how can you serve Krishna? Right? One time, Pujapad Trivikram Goswami Maharaj asked Gurudev, you're always speaking about Shrimati Radhika, Shrimati Radhika, Gopi, Shrimati Radhika. And she is the best and she's always serving Krishna. But what about morning time, early morning, Krishna is sleeping in bed, right? Oh, deep sleep. Right? And Mother Shoda walks in the room, tiptoes very softly and sees Krishna asleep. Resting. Why is Krishna resting? She's thinking, you know, it's 8 o'clock. Right? Time to get up. Time to go grazing cows. Krishna's sleeping. Wake up, Lala. Very Krishna, wake up, Kanaya, wake up. Chiru Kamaraj would say, Madhya Shoda doesn't have to play a harmonium to call Krishna and get him to come. She says, oh, Kanaya, right? And Krishna opens his eyes a little bit. He's too tired, he doesn't rub his eyes, doesn't even wake up. He just looks a little bit, opens his eyes, sees Madhya Shoda. Like, lay, you know, like when you're nice, happy sleep. Right, up, and then again. But he's a little awake, a little bit. But then... Madhya Shoda brings makkan, very soft butter, and little sugar candy, and puts in Krishna's mouth. It's morning. Krishna's first, and Krishna's like, some energy comes, you know? Sweetness, greasiness. Why? This is grita madhu, sweet and greasy love. Right? Two kinds of love. Very thick, condensed, like butter, like ghee, very sweet. So Krishna is tasting this and he's experiencing his moods of love. Whose moods? Madhya Shoda is giving the seva. So Sri Kamar said, Madhya Shoda is doing the seva, where is Srimati Radhika? You say only Srimati Radhika, but look, here is what Sadhiraj, Madhya Shoda. And then Krishna goes to the forest with the cowherd boys. Krishna sits with the boys and the, cow, and the cowherd boys in the forest and they're all eating lunch together. Where is Srimati Radhika? Who is cooking? Why does Srimati Radhika cook? Because when she can't be there directly with Krishna, she's there through her cooking, through her mood. Right? So when he's eating with the cowherd boys, whose food is he eating? Srimati Radhika is cooking. That's why she always cooks, so that she's never far from Krishna. Krishna's always, she's always experiencing meeting. Right? Her mood is in her cooking, and then Krishna's eating it. Mmm. Radhe, 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 Radhe. This is Krishna's meditation. Oh, Jai Jai Shirate. What flavor she has put in this preparation. What love she has put in this preparation. So in Sakya Ras, it's, this is in Govinda Lilamrita. Krishna is with the Sakas, but his heart is with Shirata. And he's having fun with his friends and fun with the cows, but his heart is with Shirata. Because that is divine love. Divine love isn't a concept, it's a reality. Right? Divine love is an eternal reality. The divine couple is the origin of divine love. So we are approaching Krishna because we are approaching through Radha. Right? But even Madhya Shoda, she gave that butter. Who made that butter? Shrimati Radhika. And when she's cooking it every day, she puts very sweet spices, saffron, different every time. And then she makes that butter, especially unique for Krishna. So Madhya Shoda doesn't give that butter until Srimati Radhika sends it with the manjari. Then Krishna takes it. And when he's eating that, he's thinking, yes, he loves his mother. But he loves Srimati Radhika. There's a difference. 
The other thing Vaishnavas told me, this is before I left India, he said, look at Braj. Krishna left. Why didn't the Brajabhasis go and follow him, live in Mathura? Right? Simple villagers, they could have lived in the outskirts and gone and see him in the evening, go for darshan. He said, they all stayed in Braj because Shumati Radhika was in Braj. Anugatya. Madhya Shoda loves Shumati Radhika equally to Krishna and more. But also, she's Shumati Radhika's expansion to serve Krishna in that Vatsali Rasa. Coward boys are Shumati Radhika's expansion to serve Krishna in that Rasa. Baladeva also, that's why I was going to give this class, Katyani Vrat and Baladeva Ras Yacha. We'll do this in the days to come. I don't want to go late, right? But we have to understand what is Baladeva's role now? What is Shumati Radhika's role now? Right? The object of our love is Krishna. Our, our, our real love is for Krishna because we're only aspiring to be expansions of her desire. So why would we want to have a separate mood? We love Shumati Radhika, yes. But she loves Krishna. So that's why Vaishnavacharyas say our, we are trying to develop Krishna Prem. Why do we want to develop Krishna Prem, love for Krishna? We want to develop the mood of serving her love for Krishna, experiencing her love for Krishna. That is Manjri Bhav. Right? I'm not giving, for those watching, oh, why are you giving this class? I'm giving sannyasi training class. Therefore, it's important if you're going to become real sannyasis one day, that you understand these things and follow in this line, be serious, proper devotees and brahmacharis, so that you're not doing these things in, you know, like I told this class this morning. Right? Not being, I'll tell it one more time, very brief, because this morning class meeting was a meeting, okay? It's very important, especially for sannyasis in training, to understand, preachers in training, teachers. Right? Veterinarian doctor guru had a disciple, and he would go around healing animals and horses, and his kind of silly follower, who wasn't really paying attention, but who was a little jealous and envious and thinking, I could start my own practice. One time he saw there was a horse. The horse had a big lump in its throat. And the guru, doctor, went and checked, and examined. And the assistant was just here and there, lazily, doing nothing. You know. And he saw oh, there's something in its throat. The doctor took a hammer and was breaking it. And the horse was able to swallow it and was happy and fine. Sometime later, the student thought, I will go, I've learned everything. I've been with him for like three months, four months. <laughs> I learned how to do this, I learned how to do this, I learned how to do this, I learned how to do this. And especially if there's a lump, I learned how to do that. <laughs> then he went and started his own practice and started killing animals by accident, right? And malpractice, and then they told the guru, your disciple is doing this. The guru said, he's not my disciple. He's his mind disciple, he's envy's disciple, he's jealousy's disciple, he's pride's disciple, he's lust and anger and greed's disciple. He's not my disciple. Why? The horse had a watermelon stuck in its throat. <laughs> and they had to break up the watermelon and let it swallow it. So then you, oh, I learned that. You don't know what's going on with the patient. You think, oh, like I'm a hammer, everything's a nail. But Guru uses a hammer for what's needed, sometimes to pull out a nail. So this is the danger of becoming a sannyasi without understanding bhakti and practicing bhakti and advancing in bhakti. If you're not advancing in bhakti and practicing bhakti, becoming a teacher risks a few things. One risk is that you have no bhakti ras, no love for God, no idea of love for God, no aim and object, no prayojan. But now you have a responsibility to be a missionary. You're making a mission. You're preaching. You're making followers and disciples. Roar, roar, right? You can very easily have many dangers. One is that envy for real preachers. Oh, they have so many followers. They have disciples. People love them. Why aren't they following me? I'm making disciples, but my disciples are going somewhere else. They're following someone else. Oh, why aren't they following me? I am God. Guru Krishna Rupahan, Sastra Praman. I am Krishna now. They should love me. 
You demand the love of your followers without really loving them, only wanting to enjoy them, and they go somewhere else. You don't have no love for If your cup is full of love, then envy, lust, anger, madness, greed, they can't enter it. If your cup is empty of rest, empty of sweetness, then money, fame, women, all these things fill your cup. Then it becomes pathology, not right, theology. It's pathology. I will go and save the world. But you haven't saved yourself, so when you go to save people, what happens? Oh, my beautiful young darling girl disciple. After a little while, she becomes your beautiful little lover. Right? Then this is sannyas. So that's another danger. Then what happens? Oh, Gaudiya Vaishnava sannyasis are all bogus. Bhakti is bogus. This society is bogus. That society is bogus. I'll just become a Maya body. So you're preaching now? But I'm a sannyasi, I'm preaching. If you don't have, your cup needs to be full of ras, full of love. Love for Krishna. Why? She loves Krishna. You love Krishna. People say, no, 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 Gaudiya, sannyasi, there are many rasas. Yes, no problem. But our line, sannyas mantra is Gopi Bhav mantra. This is the line of Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur, Six Goswami, Narutam Srinivas, Shamananda Prabhu. That's the mantra. Some lines they give, other mantras. But real Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada's line and mood is this mantra. This is what he gave. This is what our gurus give. Some people get it and then they just think, oh, this is just like you know, a piece of paper. And I'll say it sometimes, not say it sometimes, but go to class to follow the lessons. Otherwise, why are you in class? It doesn't, it's not useful to say, I was 25 years in Harvard. Why did you spend so long? What were you doing? How long does it take? I was in this school for 50 years. What school? This organization school. Did you ever advance? That's not the point. I wasn't in school to advance. Right? This is not a school anyway. This school is about glory. I am here to achieve glory. I want to be glorified, His divine grace, disgrace. <laughs> Her divine grace then is bona fide. Then it's his divine grace. His divine grace, the Prabhupada, Krishna's divine grace. Like we say for Katyani Bhat, this Katyani Bhat class will come because people are saying, What's Katyani Bhat? What's Katyani Oh, thinking about Krishna. Katyani is serious. Some come, Swakya mood, then it's like, You're so close to Brad, Swakya mood out. Dwarka. Those in Radhika's line, her mood, her group, they're thinking of her mood, her love, like in the Rasa dance. Rasa dance, some gopis had Vijatiya mood or neutral mood, not Shumati Radhika's follower mood. Then they were disturbed. Shumati Radhika's followers saw, oh, those are Radha's footprints. They were overjoyed. They saw two footprints, Radha, Krishna, yes. And they already knew. Why Tattad Bhavit Shamayi? Right? So when Shimati Radhika left the Rasa dance, the Manjri party, they knew because Tattad Bhavit Chamai, that means you have her, whatever her experience is, you feel it because your absorption is her. This is Krishna consciousness because she is thinking of Krishna, you are thinking of Krishna. So you are Radha conscious but also Krishna conscious, same time. Right? Because her thoughts are Krishna, so how can you reflect her mood if you're not thinking of Krishna? You're in a channel, you're thinking of her, and then she's, it's transferred, prashad. And then Krishna meets with her, and it's transferred, prashad. Without absorption, it's not prashad. You want to take prashad without absorption, how are you taking prashad? This is prashad, remnants. So understand now, prashad is remnants. What is remnants? Her mood transcending down, descending down, you receiving it, then that's prashad. So who cooks and who offers to Krishna? 
When we go to the kitchen, are you cooking? Did you cook today, Vrindavan? You are the doer? You are Krishna conscious? Or you are I am Krishna conscious? <laughs> right? Krishna consciousness means any service to Krishna is performed by Srimati Radhika. So she cooks and then she offers. Right? You can see some pictures where Radha is holding Laddu and giving Krishna. So he is accepting from your hand. <laughs> <laughs> So you prepare under her guidance and then you bring it, right? And then she checks and then arrange. Like a baby is given Play-Doh, right? So she's giving you some Play-Doh over in Davin. Why? She's not here now. She's not smiling now. Yes, this is funny. <laughs> you collect some Play-Doh and you make something with it and you show it. <laughs> Right. Nice soup. <laughs> okay? But in spiritual world, Braj, everything Krishna takes, Srimati Radhika is making. Even Mother, Mother Rohini does it. Before Mother Shoda Rohini would cook in Krishna, they would always say, oh, Krishna is skinny, thinny. That's why they begged Radharani to cook. Krishna's not eating nicely. He's skinny, thinny. Baladev is mota, fat, healthy. Krishna is skinny. Why? Only when Shrimati Radhika started cooking, then he's eating nicely. And then anyone who's cooking, they would always do under guidance of Radharani. Rohini would think, what does Radharani make? He likes so much. And she would do Anugatya. Oh, she does like this, she does like this. That's why Dravasa Muni gave her boon, only to help teach the Brijabhasis Radharani's glories. Everywhere Dravasa would go and curse. You imagine he tried to curse Radharani. He has that bravery. Everywhere Dravasa goes, he's very brave. Very strong, very bold. Rukmini, he gave curse. You don't know. Rukmini, he gave curse. You're not allowed in Dwarka. You didn't ask my permission. First wife of Krishna. I am Krishna's guru. You took my permission. A disciple must ask Guru's permission to marry. Krishna, you asked my permission. Krishna said, no. So Rukmini is outside. Her palace outside Dwarka. He can punish Krishna and Rukmini. But in Braj, he goes for Radharani's prasad. In Braj, Dravasa went and he said, oh, I'm hungry, right? Dravasa went to Radharani in a very baby mood. And she cooked for him, and then he ate, and he gave Ashavad. No, he received Ashavad, and he just said the truth. He didn't give blessing. He said the truth. Truth is, anyone who takes her cooking, they are eternally alive, powerful. Nothing can harm them. Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhava Daite. Dravasa didn't give blessing. He gave, received blessing, her prasad. And then he just said, like, when you have a good meal and you give some, like, review, right? So he had Radharani's prasad. This story is she was a little baby, three, four years old. And he came, I'm hungry, Kirtida, Brishabhanu. It was midnight. They woke up and said, I'll feed you, Dravasa. No, I don't want your cooking. Old lady, old man. <laughs> oh, we'll have the cooks do it for you. No, he said, your daughter, Brishabhanu Nandini, she will cook. Srimati Radhika cooked, and he ate Malpua, one mountain, and sweet rice, one lake. Oh, eating, eating. Why? He said, finally, I'm eating properly. Prashad, Krishna Prashad. Why is it Krishna Prashad? Because she is Krishna's Prashad. Krishna is relishing her. Then it's Krishna Prasad. She has relation with Krishna. We don't have relation with Krishna. Right? All the rasas. Without Srimati Radhika, there's no ras. She is Raseshwari. Krishna is Raso Vaisa, tasting all rasas. Srimati Radhika is expanding as all rasas, rasas. It's her mood expanding. So this is Radha Tattva. So now you can understand how we can serve. What is Krishna consciousness? You want to enter the spiritual world as a gopa? Shrimati Radhika's blessing is necessary. Shrimati Radhika, I'll give you a proof of this from Sastra. Because people will say Rasika is Sahajya now. Right? Sahajya means cheaply following imitation and in your life not doing any practice, sadhan. So I'm giving sannyasi training. 
My entire life I've been brahmachari, serving my Guru Maharaj since I was nine. With the instruction from him, from ten years old, may your whole life be a brahmachari, serve my mission. That's my life. And now living in Vrindavan for 16 years, from 96, going back and forth, 2005 till 2020, living continuously there, not living there like a, someone who is observing, someone who is following. Right? You can live around and watch what's going on, moving around, checking it out, hanging around. Right? So you can live in the Dham around Vaishnavas, hanging out, hanging out with your friends, talking this and that, and coming to programs and not following anything. Right? But without following, in one ear, out the other. So following is very important in life. Follow your lessons and you get good grades. I'm nothing special, but I'm following the lessons. I'm getting my grades. So I'm not telling this cheaply. I'm giving class training sannyasis, right? Future sannyasis. If you're not qualified and you, if you make a mistake, that's not my fault. If you follow nicely, I can train you. I'm authorized to. I'm instructed to. Right? This is my instruction. My whole life I'm following. Guru Seva, now I can tell you, you follow, and you can, you will be me soon. You cannot become Gurudev, you cannot become great Vaishnavas, but you can become like me. And then we can serve Gurudev, but bona fide. What does it mean to be a bona fide devotee, bona fide disciple, bona fide Guru, bona fide Sannyasi, bona fide Grihastha, bona fide? Where they would say pure bhakti yoga, not chal. So we're, we're countercultural because we say let's follow things purely. And that's unpopular. Pure bhakti is good in theory, but we don't like it in practice. Right? Most people want to follow sahajya. Oh, radhe, 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 radhe. <laughs> Radhe, 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 Radhe. I like this one, then tomorrow this one. Radhe, 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 Radhe. Tomorrow this girlfriend, and next day this one. This is Radhe, Radhe. Right? Radhe, Radhe, smoke a joint, and I will meet with you tomorrow, Radhe. This is Sahajya. Right? In your mind, Thinking one thing, and your mouth saying one thing. Okay, this is an extreme example. But Radhe, 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 Jai Jai, Shri Radhe. Tonight I'll watch this. Tomorrow I'll watch that. Tomorrow I'll fight with this person. Next day I'll do this. Tomorrow I'll check on this politics. Tomorrow I decide, is the earth flat or round? And is, are there lizards in the world or not? Controlling and politics. If you're thinking of politics and you're thinking of this and that and arguments and this and that and you want to check this and that the whole world news you can collect you can, you can collect all the garbage of the world and chant Radhe Radhe for a few minutes what's it going to do for you right? I'll chant Hare Krishna and Radhe Radhe but 22 and a half hours of the day I'm collecting garbage right? Raghunath Asuka Swami said Chapan Danda Ratri Dine Jane Na Radha Govinda Vine for 22 and a half hours you only knew Radha Krishna and their service, and when he slept for an hour and a half, he only thought of Radha Krishna and their dreams. Then you have eligibility, now I'm following. So I'm giving you an indication, an idea, but what I'm telling you is you have to follow it. And then this is not cheap. We're not cheapening this. We're not creating an imitation. Because I haven't followed it cheaply in my life, and I've received a specific order to continue to teach this, right? So I have directly received the order to teach about this and I've followed in my life to this point and if you follow also seriously then it's bona fide. And then you can understand Krishna consciousness. You say, oh, it's not written there, it's not written there, it's not written there. It's everywhere. It's as clear as the sunlight. But if you're an owl, it's not my fault that you can't see it. If you don't want to see it, well, that's why bhakti and sastra isn't naked. Right? Because otherwise you take everything cheap. 
right? You have to learn first, practice first. Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami said, most people won't read this or watch this, in my case. So it's okay. He wrote, Chaitanya Charitamrita said, how can I write these things openly? So Prabhupada published Chaitanya Charitamrita. Read it, it's very clear there. Sri Radhaya Pranaya, Rag Marga Bhakti Loki Kodite Prachadan, what is her mood, what is Shikshastakam, read the conversations, Rayaram the Sambad, Rupa Shiksha, it's all right there, clear as day. Read the purports, it's clear as day. But primary focus is Krishna. And not everyone will be Mandri, clearly. But primary focus in Gaudiya Sampradaya is that mood of, if you want to be a Brahmachari Sannyasi, I'm giving you training, then you have to come to the point of understanding this line and this mood, otherwise you'll create havoc in society. You'll destroy faith in Gaudiya Vaishnava society and the organizations because of your improper practice, how you teach, how you behave with people, right? Nadanam najanam nasundarim kavitam vajagadisha kame, right? I want wealth and followers and fame. Oh, you want this? We don't have any mission to serve. We have their mission to serve. That is the mission. We have a mission to serve. But if we don't practice and grow, if we think it's my mission, your mission may be never chant, go and work all day. That's not what I'm saying. It's not about how much you chant and how many books you read. If you're in the doer mentality, I'm the doer, I'm the doer, I'm doing this, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing this, is I am Krishna consciousness. I'm following. I'm following this, I'm following this, I'm following this, I'm following this, I'm following this. Not I'm doing and doing and doing and doing and doing and doing. It's doer abhiman. I am controller, parush. I am soft, I am gentle, I am like water, flowing gently. Where is my current? Where is the direction? Where is the guide? Right? Water follows a guide. When it comes in the ground, whatever the guide is, right, follows the low path. Wherever there's some walls, it'll create a channel, a stream, automatically. Right? When the snow melts, you'll see streams. It's anugatya, flowing. So this is the mood. So not everyone has to enter that mood, but primarily this is the mood. And if you don't understand this mood, then you don't understand Mahaprabhu's reason to come. So that's why it's important to understand. Not that everyone has to come into this line. But really, even those in Sakyaras, those in Vatsalyaras, complete absorption is there in Sri Krishna. He is the object of our love. Shimati Radhika is also giving that Krishna Seva Vasana. So you know what Bhakti is defined? What is Bhakti? Bhakti is Krishna Seva Vasana. That is the beej of Bhakti. When we say Brahmanda Brahmite Kon Bhagyavana Jeev, Guru Krishna Prashade Pai Bhakti Lata Beach. By their mercy, then the seed of devotion comes. So we'll continue this in the morning or in the evening. But the topic that we're leading up to is who is Guru? And I'm going to speak about Srila Guru Dev and Srila Prabhupada. Who is real Guru in our line? Bona fide Guru. Then, what is their service they do for us? And how can we serve them? So this is the topic we'll continue in the morning and tomorrow evening. It's an ongoing topic. So like I said, I don't want to speak so long in one time because our whole life is to be students. Now we listen, we observe, we hear, and we follow a little bit, we reflect. Then this is Harikata. You hear something and you try to collect it. One or two things. That's why Harikata has to repeat. Repetition, like in school. So repeat and understand. One day you understand and collect it in your heart. And meditate on it. Process it. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam. You repeat to yourself. What is this point? What is this point? Uttam Vaishnavas, they are very right, mystical. Right? You have to deserve and develop to gain this knowledge. Right? 
It takes time and practice. But what I'm trying to do is I'm distilling a mood and a point and trying to repeat it and emphasize it. What does it mean to take darshan? They are having darshan. I am not the subject, I am the object. I am not the doer, I am the follower. I follow their desire in my life. Then I understand anugatya, the mood of taking guidance. No one likes guidance because they all like, I am Krishna consciousness. I am controller consciousness. I am doer consciousness. But this is not helping us go to Braj. Right? In Braj, there's Nitya Siddhas, eternal associates, there's Radha Krishna, and then I can be their humble servants of the 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 servants. That means all that prasad comes to me. All the flow of that rest comes to me. That servant of the servant of the servant. Servant of the servant of the servant means I get the essence of the mood of all those manjaris and sevaks. Guru parampara. Right? Rupa's mood, Rati's mood, Lavanga Manjri's mood, Guru, Param Guru, Parat Par Guru, Parameshti Guru, Param Par. All of their moods collected, Das and Das and Das and Das, then I get that sweetness. That's the speciality of Manjri. Because if you just approach Krishna, only in relation with Krishna, but you're a finite jiva, how much can you understand Krishna? How much can you experience the love of Krishna? But how much she has? So if you serve her and she serves Krishna, all her desires come to you. All her experiences, her moods, not only her moods, but her experience. Her moods of love for Krishna, her desires, but her experience of that love. Sokyam chastya mad anubhavata. Her anubhav of Krishna's sweetness comes to you. That experience, but it's prashad now. It's remnants. It's her mercy remnants, but not directly. What is the mood of Rupa? What is the mood of Rati? What is the mood of Guru? Param Guru, Parameshti Guru, Parat Par Guru, Param Parat Par Guru, all Sad Goswami. What is their mood? All that. Prashad, Mahaprashad, Maha Mahaprashad, Maha Maha Mahaprashad, Maha 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 Mahaprashad, then I understand Das and Das and Das and Das and Das. You want that Prashad? Or you want to cross over, get out of the way, Acharya Varya? Bhaktivinoda Thakur, no need his mood. Bhaktivinoda Prabhupada, no need his mood. Swami Prabhupada, his mood. Gurudev, no need their moods. I will jump the line, right? They're waiting in line for Prashad, Shumati Radhika's Prashad, and you say, hey, hey, hey. I'll jump in line ahead of you all. So das and das and das and das, not because I'm a servant of a servant of a servant of a servant. I think so must the souls to satyam. We pray padabzeos tabavina vardasya meva nanyat kadapi samaye kila deviyache sakyayate mura souls to souls to satyam dasyayate mura souls to souls to satyam. I only want your dasya ras your service, because then that's raso raso. If I'm das and das and das, I get the mood of that whole line, all that flavor, essence. Sweetest flavor. That's ras. Ras is flavor. So you want the flavor of the flavor of the flavor of the flavor of the flavor. That flavor. How sweet is that flavor? You can understand. Oh, how sweet. Right? So, direct relationship is not so sweet. Das and das and das is very sweet. That's why Mahaprabhu says, Mahaprabhu doesn't say this as punishment. Britya, Britya, Paricharaka, Britya, 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 Siti, Monks, Manalokanatha, I will be your servant of your servant of your servant, I will be your servant of your servant. One time, our Vilap Kusumanjali book was distributed, and some I read on a, because I was seeing, anyways, looking Vilap Kusumanjali. And there was a random blog post, our book that I published, 2012. First book I published, right? Vilapkusumanj, the first book. Right now we're on book number 60 something. But first book, Vilapkusumanj. And someone got it in England. They found it at a laundromat. Someone passed it out, right? I said, why you pass out Vilapkusumanj? Right? 
start somewhere on their level. You know, I am not this body, not I am this body. Okay, that's important. Primary class, then we go up. But they got this book and they did a review of it. They're saying, what is this madness? I am a servant of a servant of a servant of a servant. And who is this person, Radha? <laughs> right? This crazy pagan cult. But what is Mahaprabhu? Why is it servant of the servant of the servant? I am humble. I want to be servant of the servant of the servant. But what is the rest of that? So sweet. Right? You imagine you get to experience the moods of all the Guru Varga and their love, right? All their, you know their name, their mood, their service, their engagement, everything, and you get to serve in that line and learn from all of them. Oh, this is my seva, this is what I like to do, this is what I 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 do. You want to help? You want seva? Would you like some seva? You want to do some seva? So we'll end with this point. I say, Jivara Swarup Hoi Krishna Nithidas. What is your Swarup? Jivara Swarup Hoi Krishna Nithidas. We're all Krishna Nithidas. Why? Because this is her mood. She is expanding her love for Krishna as all das tattva, all servants, all rasas, expansions of her desire to love and serve Krishna. Please, Krishna. Right? Krishna said, he is Bhagavan, God, and that uh, his Swarup Shakti, Itcha Shakti, manifests his heart's his desire. She expands that, all the rasas, right? When Krishna, from Shrimati Radhika, then all the gopis expanded, then everything expanded, then all creation expanded. That's why it's Adi Ras, original mellow, Shringar Ras, original mellow, Adi Ras, Shumati Radhika is expanding. Right? So then you understand that any service, any position is coming through her. So Jivara Surupoy Krishna Nitadas. I am Krishna Nitadas. That is my soul identity. But have I realized I am Krishna Nitadas? So I have that. I am that identity. That is my Surup Gata Dharma. The Swarup Gata Dharma means the nature of my soul is loving service to Krishna. It is my nature. I cannot change that nature. Jiva Swami, Shri Bhaktivinoda Thakur, all the sashas, if you really look, essence, you'll find that. Bhaktivinoda Thakur said, ice and water. You melt ice, it becomes water. That means the nature of it is liquidity. You can say, no, the nature of it is ice. But water is liquid, and ice is water. Ice is not ice. Ice is iceified. It's water that has been made into ice. You could say, no, the original form of ice is ice. There's no such thing as water. Water is just the transformation of ice. Right? Didn't you know that? Can you read that in school? Water is just the transformation of ice. Or you can say, no, it's just air, vapor. No, water is water. Water becomes ice. Tatashta Shakti, right? Icy nature. But really, Jivera Swarup Hoi Krishna, your nature, your Swarup Gata nature is Krishna Nitadas. Right? Why? Because this is expansion Shakti. Swarup Shakti expansion. Shakti Parinam Bad, but Tatashta Shakti. Sandini, Samvit, Ladini, Tatashta. The Siddhanta is there. But the principle is that your nature is that. But until you realize that nature, your ice, Bhakti Thakur describes, your ice, Naimitic Dharma, but we want to enter Nitya Dharma, water, rasa. And that comes from Trimati Radhika. Okay, so tomorrow we'll talk about who is Guru, what is Guru's service, and how can we serve.